Hello, this is Haku Bean, and today we are going to be reading SCP-620, also known as Time Keeps On Slipping. If you like this video, please like on the video, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. Now let's get right into this. Item number, SCP-620, Object Class, Safe, Special Containment Procedures, SCP-620 is not considered a direct hazard as such. It is currently located in Site Redacted Accounting Department. Its container procedures exist to create an environment or users which can study its effects without being exposed to them. SCP-620 is to be a mounted to a large arch two-way mirror separating the observation area from the testing area. It is to be attached to the mirror by suction cup mounts. In the event of suction cup failure, the testing area must be evacuated until SCP-620 can be remounted. Research personnel may mount the object as brief exposure is not considered dangerous. SCP-620 is currently connected directly to site redacted power supply following incident SCP-620 redacted. Any science of wires need repair must be reported to site redacted. Maintenance staff immediately. Description: SCP-620 is an analog clock of unknown make and model. It bears no markings indicating a manufacturer or place of origin. Its face is styled after the yellow smiley face design. When SCP-620 is powered, all subjects observing its face experience received time acceleration. Constant observation is not required. Occasional glance is well induced to perceive acceleration as quickly as constant observation. Upon the conclusion of a testing session, the S-objects were asked to gauge how much time they thought they had spent testing. All under-reported time spent and testing by a fact actors proportional to time spent exposed to SCP-620. Subjects exposed to SCP-620 for under 5 minutes were no less accurate measured time than a control group. However, as exposure length increases, inaccuracy rises proportionately. Most subjects experience its effects to be pleasurable, so SCP-620 has been mounted on a wall inside reducted its accounting department to increase morale. As of instant SCP-620 redacted, indiscriminate exposure to the object no is no longer permitted, and the object has thus been relocated to a specialized research area. The perceived time acceleration only persists as long as the object remains functional. If SCP-620 loses power or its hand sees movement for any reason, all subjects exposed to it will experience time dilation in equal proportion to time acceleration perceived when it is functional. All subjects, especially those previously perceiving time acceleration, find the time dilation uncomfortable and after prolonged exposure, it becomes unbearable for most test subjects. SCP-620 consumes battery charge at varying and unpredictable levels causing it to lose power with little warning. As such, SCP-620 currently controls power correctly from site-redacted power supply. Prolonged exposure to the object in either state is unsafe. After 24 continuous hours of exposure, subjects have in the past begun to reject food regardless of hunger, frequently saying that they just ate regardless of how much actual time has passed since the subject is eating. Subjects become overconfident in their recollection, claiming to remember things as if they were re yesterday, but with no measurable increase in recall. Subjects who, became a, who become aware of how quickly they perceive time to passing have become chronically depressed, believing their death to be imminent. imminent. Subjects exposed to a stopped face for prolonged periods quickly become extremely bored, often pleading with researchers through the mirror for the test to end. It is important that SCP-620 has no effect whatsoever on the. To remember that SCP-620 has no effect whatsoever on the actual flow of time, as far as Foundation equipment can detect, the acceleration and dilation are completely psychosomatic. Subjects who do not know what analog clock is or how to read one are unaffected by SCP-620. Oh heck. Well, that was SCP-620. 
A clock that apparently makes time go by faster when it's it's on and makes time go by really slow when it's off. If you like this video, please hit like on the video, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. I have no idea what I'm going to be doing tomorrow, so until then, goodbye!